thesis paper on neurotechnology. This got me the job with Dr. Octavius. You've heard me express grave concerns about the risk to civil liberties posed by the police department's crime system and their omnipresent towers. But at least the intention is to stop crime. Now recently, Spider-Man has been seen tampering with these very towers. And it's reasonable that my loyal listeners suspect he is disabling the towers so he can commit his unlawful misdeeds with impunity. But Spider-Man is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill menace. Oh, he's a 12th level kung fu master, 50 moves ahead menace. Which is why I think he's actually hacking into these towers to spy on you and me. Your only defense? Listen to my show. All the time. If he's gonna spy on us, let him hear that we're on to him by listening to me every waking moment. And that's why Jonah paid me the big bucks. with my adoring public. I wonder if King T'Challa got his powers from being bitten by a radioactive panther. Dude. Tough, but that'd still probably hurt. God, I bought this snow globe for Aunt May. I think I get my love for this city from her. killed me until I broke this chip off his horn and figured out what his costume's made of. Still wasn't easy to beat him. My back still aches just thinking about it. MJ and I applied for this lease, I thought we'd move in together. Instead, we broke up.
perfect. Captain Watanabe gave me her cell number when she finally decided to trust me. She's risking a lot. If anyone finds out she's helping me, she'll lose her job. Daily Bugle. Always a great paper. Even more now that Jameson's retired. Sorry. in progress. Location is Little Tokyo. Almost morning. Over. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? 
This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Uh, I don't know. Why take the risk? The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Partnership with restaurants? Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Yo, Pete, that aunt of yours is a saint. You're telling me. I gotta get out of here before my kids find out. In three months, I'll be able to afford rent. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. She. Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity.
That car crash looks bad. Hope no one's injured. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. I need to find whoever caused this wreck before anyone else gets hurt. I'm losing them! Gotta catch up! Hope you've got points left on your license, you guys. That pile up was a fusion. Now that's just rude. Okay. Here's your stuff. Long time no see. Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? Mott Street, the main street of Chinatown. Touristy. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Stretch your legs. Oh god, thank you. I do not like small spaces. Oh no. They're back! Thank you, thank you. There will be no encore, as all the kidnappers are 
My injured shoulder eventually healed. The bill took a lot longer to pay. Plaza. I could use some of his wisdom right about now. Bridge. A convenient route to someplace else I can't afford to live. Fashion hold up. Vintage crime stopping right there. these electrician's gloves in my first fight with Electro. Gave me the idea to add insulation to my costume, which saved my bacon more than once.
bomb boot in here. Crushed when I had to fight Fisk. That kind of symbolizes my luck with relationships. I've always been about the truth. When I was a reporter and a newspaper publisher, I printed the truth. And now, as a broadcaster, I speak it. Sometimes it hurts. But it's my responsibility to bring it to you. And the truth is, the city is not quiet. It is not peaceful. It is a disaster waiting to happen. Threats roiling under the surface, like a hungry shark just beneath the water line. Don't let Spider-Man fool you. You are not safe. None of us are. Hey, my Mark I web shooters. Managed to improve the storage capacity a lot since then, but the basic design's still the same. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? The site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job.
Wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. I should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Harry left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <laughs> I must be freaking these people out. Now what else is new? Huh. The toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. on that one. Perfect. Stack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars! He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Hi. All units, civilians are in need of assistance following an accident. Incident is active. Uh, you okay? Over. Peter, I've been looking into the 
the demons. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep God? Someone's trapped in that car. Concrete can't be far. They can rob the doors and smash into every car on the road, making their getaway. I need to find whoever caused this wreck before anyone else gets hurt. Some good parts from this old cell phone. Wonder what I could accomplish with a real budget instead of dumpster diving. Hey, MJ. We were talking about the demons. I keep feeling like they're my fault. Cleared space for them by putting Fisk away. What were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. 